everyone, welcome back to Sega Spark Weekend on the Sonic Hour. I'm Player One Anthony TZ, and today we're playing, well, a re kind of redoing of Sonic CD. This version came out on the 360, and it's kind of like the first way I actually played it. Even though I owned it on the computer, I never actually played it on the computer. But this is like the updated version of this game that came out during the 360 era. Just taking a moment to select that, spacing out. Here's the new menu and everything. So let's start the game, shall we? Ooh, I kind of forgot that uh, I have a couple of save files on this. This game was kind of unique because in this version you can actually play as Tails. And I have to say, the other day, they finally did a new trailer for Sonic Origins Plus. And not only do you get to play 12 Game Gear games now, but now you can play as Amy in Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles. And I believe CD. But we'll figure that out some other time. Here, I'll delete this one down here. We'll play as Sonic. I love this opening. This is probably one of my favorite openings in any classic Sonic game. In the original game, they kind of sprited this up. And it still looked awesome. But you just can't beat the anime opening. just so well done! And it's 90s as hell! And I do have to say, I kind of prefer this music over the original US soundtrack. Sonic Boom is a great song, but damn it, I just love this one. This version of the opening theme and I just just love the different like zone music that they have for this version. I'll show you guys at the end of the uh, episode of what the original looks like on the CD version. The Sega CD. Alright, welcome to Palm Tree Panic. I just, there, there's so many like aspects about this game that I just love over like both one and two. Like, for instance, you can actually go to the future, or you can go to the past versions of each level. Ah, there it is. I was like, should have been a platform, what the hell? And this introduced so many, like, a bunch of different mechanics other than just time travel. Like, for instance, you have the super peel out, which does this. It's like an alternate to a spin dash, which is this. But in the original, version, it's not quite like that. Damn it. I just want to go through the damn posts. I only don't want to go through the posts in this level because, like, there's only something you can see when you're in, like, the regular time. And it's at the end of the level. And it's right here! Hi, Amy! Yeah, she meets you at the first goal post. And she and she can, like latches onto you. And you can't move left or right. You have to jump in order to get her off of you. But yeah, this is the first time you meet Amy. And we won't see her until the next zone. I mean, next like location. Woo! 
shit. Now let's freaking actually play the dang game. Let's go to the future and the past. You know, if we run into the posts. I just wanted to show you guys Amy. Because, yay! I'm glad there's more Amy love right now. I always love these bat- like, j I just love classic Sonic, like, locations and everything, and- uh, I could just talk about Sonic all day, it's just like, I'm trying not to get too nerdy about it. Whoop, whoop! <laughs> Man, we just crushed that zone. If I were to, like, rate where I would think this is, like, classic Sonic game-wise, I'd say this is probably, like, my second favorite. I consider, like, maybe Sonic 3 is definitely my favorite classic Sonic game. That would be this, that would be Knuckles, and Knuckles. Then two, then one, I guess. But I just love them all, I can't help it. It's hard for me to, like, choose between them all. And here's the first boss. Hi, Eggman! That is quite the interesting thing you have there, and I am still invincible. I just totally broke your total, your whole fight, didn't I? Next time, don't put an invincibility box in your freaking location, you dumbass. 300 IQ, my ass. But this is what the bad future looks like uh, for this area. Oh wow, we didn't time travel at all yet. Well, it's only been seven minutes. We still got ways to go. All right, collision chaos. And there's Amy again. This time she doesn't actually latch onto you. She walks back and forth right next to you. And there's nothing you can do about it. She's just gonna follow you. Whoop! There's spikes right there. I probably shouldn't stand there. Metal Sonic! Let's go with the pink hedgehog! Yo, Dick! And this is when Amy became a damsel in distress. But unlike Peach, she's not usually a damsel in distress that often. Every now and then she gets captured, but she usually gets like saved and sometimes even becomes part of the adventure. Ooh, we're time traveling now. We went over 88 miles per hour, so now we're going to the future! Where everything looks like hell! Oh yeah, this kind of has aspects of like pinball and everything in it. Ah, shit! Yeah, the collision chaos in this is the freaking spring hell. They should have just called this spring hell. I'm sure you could have gotten away with it, Sega. Oh boy. What hit me? Oh, I guess there is a bad egg in there. Little praying mantis bastard. Now what's unique about like going to the past and future is like the level actually changes. Like you see the rings are just flowing in there. How are you supposed to get there? Them. Well, like if this was the past or like the present, like this spot wouldn't be right here probably. It's very you like so cool like to be able to change the level depending on whether you go to the past or the future. Like in the future there's like more traps and it's more dangerous. But if you do specific conditions, you can actually get a good future. Where it's not, you know, looking like crap and Eggman took over. Oh god, Spring Hell is back. Wow. Oh. This is going way better than... Okay, I'm gonna be honest, like... I recorded the first episode, like, uh, a week ago. But I didn't like how it was. So I decided to re-record it in my next free time, which is why we didn't have an episode yesterday. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do this. Next time I get a chance. And you know what? We're playing way better. 
than what it was before. First was the worst, second is definitely the best in this case. One thing I'm surprised about is like when you go to the next zone, you don't stay in that time frame. Like you're not still in the future when you go to the next zone. Let's go to the past. Ow, you freaking ladybug bastard. I didn't even see that bad nick there. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at it. Alright, let's travel to the past. Go, Mossy, go! My name's Sonic. Go, Sonic, go! Who the hell is Sonic? Alright, this is what the past looks like. It's more foresty and green. Ah, son of a bitch! Anything that was still gonna hurt! Ah, you son of a bitch! I didn't think you were gonna hurt because I didn't think I was gonna touch you! Well, yeah, like... Now, when you click the future, you just go back to the present. Just like if you click the past and the future, you go to the present. Now... If you got a good running speed going and you see those stars going behind you, if you just stop like immediately, you lose the ability to go to the future. Actually, I think I want to stay up here. And another thing, like, depending on like what time, like, you're in, like, the music also changes too, with the, uh, time difference. So many bubbles, my bubbles. And people thought Naruto ran like that first. Nope, Sonic, he ran with his arms like this way before Sonic Adventure. A little fun fact I like pointing out. He's Naruto running! No, he's Sonic running, bitches! Goal! Now, unlike the first time I actually did this, I was actually able to go to a special zone before this point, so... Dang, I'm surprised I haven't done that yet. Alright, time to fight a boss again. Let's see if I can do it as well as I did. First time I did this, I like did it in like less than a minute and I was surprised. Because usually I'm stuck here for a while. This boss is a bitch. Oh, ah, shit. Ah! Shit! Come on! Come on! Damn it! Okay, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna be doing this as well as the first attempt was. Ah! ah crap! Damn it! <laughs> I'm so stuck here. Huh? Oh, lovely. Well, at least I dodged the bomb. Hey, I'll take the shield. That's always a nice bonus. Damn. I am just going all over the place. Damn it! Lost the shield. Oh, boy. Damn it. Okay, come on. I hate this boss. Ah, 
Damn you, Eggman! There we go, finally! Not like it's actually that tough, it's just a bitch sometimes. And we made it to Tidal Tempest. And we will tackle this place next time. See you guys soon for more Sonic CD! Ooh! I've never actually seen this cutscene like this before. I've only ever seen the anime version. Still, sprite work wise, this looks great! This song freaking rocks. Sonic Boom is also a great song, too, but damn it, do I love this one! At the end of this episode, I'll show you, like, a clip of what it's supposed to really look like. And you can make a comparison. Again, this looks actually kind of nice! I can't even imagine if the game actually looked and played like that! That'd be pretty sick.